Hi Rockstars, this is June here and wherever you are around the world, I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thank you for being with me again and a super warm welcome to all my new subscribers. Today's episode will be the third in the Mischief in Melbourne series. Now I am using the term mischief rather loosely. Just be glad it wasn't mayhem in Melbourne. Now I do love being in Melbourne as you can tell because of the space and the food. I am well fed when I go back to Melbourne and uh, on most mornings I get I have fresh eggs, toast, um, coffee and a book. So it's a very healthy diet complete with fiber. And we get fresh organic eggs because we've got our own chooks. And sometimes these chooks, they escape. And we have to shoo them back to the coop. about the chokes. Today's episode, as you know, or probably can tell by now from the title, that it is going to be a book haul video and I'm very, very excited to share with you all the books that I loved back from Melbourne. I'm just going to show it to you here. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, so, oops, now it's I think I mentioned this earlier that some of these books were gifted to me, so I'll start with those first. The first one, and let me take a sip of water from my Sleepy Bear Books mug. Thank you, Natasha. Thank you to the wonderful people from Sleepy Bear Books, an amazing uh, team they have there. And uh, if you've seen my last episode, you would have met some of them. So I'll put the link somewhere up here, I guess. Let me have a sip. Okay, so the first book that I want to highlight to you is this one, which is of course also a gift from uh, my friends at Sleepy Bear Books. Um, this one is an Aussie classic. It's called Picnic at Hang Rock. And uh, it's got this very um, vintage looking cover. And I do remember watching this TV pro, uh, this movie actually, I think it was a telly movie. And it's an. Uh, I don't know if you guys, you guys are probably too young, but if you are, well, grown up and old enough to remember, um, there used to be an Aussie TV series called The Sullivans, and there was a character in this TV series called Mrs. Jessup, and I think she was actually in the Tadley movie for um, Picnic at Hanging, um, Picnic at Hanging Rock. Uh, it's it's kind of a dark tale, I remember. So I am looking forward to reading this. So thank you to Sleepy Bear Books for this. Um, the next book is another Aussie classic. This one is Playing BT Bow by Ruth Park. As you can see, this one, it's rather old. Yes, this is also uh, gifted to me. See, I have to say thank you very much to Prof. Prof is the uh, a term of endearment for my uh, brother-in-law. He has a lot of books. And so that's an advantage when I go to Melbourne because he has a lot of books. And it means I get a lot of books too from him. So um, another one here is uh, James Joyce by uh, James Joyce by Dubliners. Dubliners by James Joyce. Here you go. Okay. Do you, I know I've not read a lot of these books because I know they're classics, but you know I've not read a lot of them. So I'm really looking forward to being able to you know take my time and enjoy all these books. And, I've, and I'm sure a lot of them were also books for uh, high school as well. Um, this is one um, Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. Of course I chose some of these books from my brother-in-law's collection because of the covers as well. You know, I, I, I do judge a book by its cover. You know that already. Okay, so I like this one. I like the simplicity of it and the colour. It's, it's so stark. I just love this. Um, this one, Bridge to Terra, Terra Bithia. Now, the reason why I picked this book, I remember, like, I think it was in one of the book club, um, sort of a... A group on Facebook and someone asked which book made you cry and you know what I um, the only book that I cry uh, uh, over was uh, what's that um, oh it just slipped my mind right now 
Monster, monster, little boy and monster. Okay, I, I'm sure it will come to me eventually. But anyway, somebody um, posted that reading this book made them cry. So I picked this up because I wanted to know what was in the story here that made that particular reader cry. Uh, but anyway, again, you can see this is a very old cover. I, I prefer like really old uh, covers, if you know what I mean. I don't like, I mean, I do like, but I prefer um, older book covers. I mean, it's got a very um, sort of like 70s vibe to it. I mean, if you look at his jeans, okay, I think they're bell bottom. So you kind of know it's probably. Let me just have a look. Uh, there you go, 1977. There you go. Okay, so there's this one. Of course, here's another classic. And I love this cover, it is just absolutely adorable. This is um, The Great Gatsby, but of course, okay. Uh, I love this cover as well, look at that, mm, so pretty. Okay, and then um, I heard a lot about this book. Um, it's uh, Tracy Chevalier's um, Girl with a Pearl Earring. I've not read this, but I will now that I've got the book. I'm intrigued by this, so that's why I picked this one. All these, again, like I said, gifted to me. <clears throat> yes, and this, I remember watching the movie, and I did enjoy the movie very much, so uh, I picked this book because I think if I did enjoy the movie, I think the book would probably be much better. I love this one. It's also a, um, a vintage cover, The Quiet American, by Graham Greene. There you are. Okay, I know there's a lot of books, right? Okay, this is by Ellie Weisel. Um, it's uh, entitled Night. Now, when I was doing my year 12, I had to read Ellie, so uh, I'm kind of like looking forward to this as well. It's you know I kind of feel like all the books that I read when I was in high school, for school, like I did like it then, but you know when I reread them now, I appreciate them so much more. It's like I. I, I feel more for the stories as compared to when I was reading them at school. Maybe because it's for an exam, so you kind of like, you know. Okay, this one, uh, if you guys have seen my French connection video where I showed um, all, all my, well not some of my French books, um, I did have this book as well, um, The Outsider. You know, since I have the French version, I decided I better pick up the English version as well so that I get a kind of a translation. Um, I'll probably have to read both. My French isn't that great as, as I told you before, so this will probably clarify the story for me even more. Um, I've not read this before, but I picked this up because it's by Arthur Miller. This too. Look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my gosh. This is Death of a Salesman. Yep, Arthur Miller. A play and this is The Crucible by Arthur Miller as well. I've not read The Crucible, but I have heard good things about it. This I did for my year 12. I really, really enjoyed it. I reread it again recently and uh, yeah, I, I love it. And actually, I'm watching the play um, on YouTube. I wish I could um, see the version where I think um, Philip Seymour Hoffman played the role of Willy Loman. I, I believe he did, um, the late Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah. I would have liked to see him play the role of Willy Loman. I think that would have been so super cool. So, oh no, there's a bit of a cut here. But anyway, so that's that and that's that. This is so pretty. But that's not all, I also got this. John Steinbeck. I did read Joint Joint. John Steinbeck in high school as well and I love these covers. They are so gorgeous. They're beautiful. Oh, I'm just happy looking at them, you know what I mean? Alright, now the rest of the books here, I, you know, when I'm in Melbourne, I love going to the thr uh, thrift stores. I love, love going to the thrift stores to get um, all kinds of stuff, right? You know, clothing sometimes, you get some really cool vintage pieces, um, but you also get to get really good books. I got this one, Stupid White Man by Michael Moore because my brother, he recommended this book. He said, it's a good read, you gotta get it. And, and so I listened and I got it. So I haven't, I haven't read this yet. Um, a lot of people are, are still talking about this. as It's being made into a movie, I believe. Um, the Guernsey Literary 
and Perino Piu Pie Society. Just the title sounds cool enough. I think I will probably enjoy this, you know, this book. So anyway, so I got this one because everyone's talking about it. Um, so I decided, why not? Okay, um, now I got this book. Um, look at that, it's so cute. It's water babies. And it's, it's a real, oh, you can see this is so, oh, it's like super duper vintage look. I got it for a dollar. Can you see that? Yep, there you go, just a dollar. Okay, the reason why I got this book is because when I was growing up, uh, like in my, like in my childhood home, we did have like a lot of books that we used to keep in like this glass case thingy. And one of the books, and I'm not sure if we still have it. I have to go back to Kuala Lumpur and look for it. We might still have it. And one of the books was um, Water Babies, right? And I never read it because I was like, I was way little then. But I do remember the cover was pink and fuchsia and then there were like babies underwater or something like that. So this, I got this because it just brought back memories and um, I'll probably read it too now. I was too young to read it then, but I'm old enough now, so I got a copy and I will be reading it. Um, I got these just for laughs because they were so cute. Look at that Nurse Nancy, you know, back in the day, women, like girls can be doctors, I guess. Back in the day, you can only be a nurse. It's all different now, of course. And then <laughs> the brave little Taylor. I love that. Isn't that cute? All these are the little golden books. Sure, they are. They are like oh, the boy and the tigers. Look at that. I feel for some reason, this little boy here reminds me of if you've watched Hey Arnold the cartoon. Yeah, his friend. I forgot his name. <laughs> he reminds me of him. Hey Arnold. Right, Arnold's best friend. Uh, tall hair boy. Yeah, that, that was his nickname. Uh, anyway, I got these for 50 cents each. I mean, they were 50 cents. I mean, what do you want me to do? I had no choice. I bought them because they're just so cute. I don't know why. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with them. I guess I could just, you know, go through them with you. Show you what it's like inside. Aww. Look at that. Come on, right? What is there not to love? So cute. Okay, um, now most of the books that I got from the thrift store were like going for a dollar or two. Okay, and these I got for 50 cents. And uh, oh, and this was my ultimate find, I think. This is a hard cover of All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony. So um, again, this book is um, winner of the Pulitzer Prize, what can I say? Okay, I've, I've not read it yet clearly and I've got a hardcover copy and it's, been, it's in pretty good condition as you can see, it looks really new. Lovely, I've got this, I think, yeah, I got it for five bucks. Oh, I love a good bargain. Okay, I know, it's a lot of books. It is, it is. I have so far only read uh, Plain BT Bow. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't know, well, I don't know what to read next because I've got a ton of other stuff I'm supposed to read and review. It's all over here, you can't see it. That's why the camera is angled in a certain way that you can't see my desk. Because the desk is an absolute mess, okay? With books everywhere, waiting to be read, screaming for my attention. So, um, well, tell me what I should read next, you know, put it in the comment box. Uh, or maybe, you know, share with me if you've got any of the books that I have just shown in my haul. <sighs> Nothing like books to make you happy. <gasps> I'm super duper happy. So, I guess I better finish all of this before I make my next trip to Melbourne, because you know what's going to happen, right? More books are going to be coming back. So anyway, thank you so much for spending the last couple of minutes with me. I hope you enjoy looking at my books, looking at my haul, sharing in my joy. Um, I will be uh, going back to my regular programming. I will be doing reviews and giveaways in my next episode. So please do subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Please show me some love. Give me a thumbs up. Okay, uh, like and share this video guys. I appreciate that so much. 
Until I see you again, remember to be kind, be good, be better, noble. Bye! It's a good day today. And the chooks are out. Hello, chook. Oh. Hey, chook. This is why we have organic eggs when you're here. Get out of here.